What are the long-term effects of living in a van or a car? Now we all know there's lots of people that do the van life and even people that live in cars. I mean, if you listen to the Bob, everybody be living in a van or a car. And I, I've just found that over and over again, that this whole, it becomes a whole package that delivers a higher quality of life. But what are the long-term effects, if any, I'm just asking of living in a small confined space like a van or a car? Now, I often think of Blue Van Dan. I mean, the guy is a giant. He is well over six feet tall and he lives in his van. Now, I'm not talking about the young spry people that can climb around and jump up and down and get in and out of the van and crawl around and do all that fun stuff. But as we get older, even living in a house where you have plenty of room, things start to creak and crack, snap, crackle and pop. And uh, yeah, so I often think of Dan in his van. Now, not saying that Dan's old and decrepit and uh, can't get around anymore, but as a tall dude living in a van, I would think that after a while, and I think Dan does have some back issues, so you got back issues, maybe some knee issues, and some other joint problems. Now, Blue Van Dan, he just recently got a schoolie. Not a little schoolie, not a little short bus that most of you morons out there rode to school. You know, you window lickers. No, not a short bus. He got a giant school bus. I say good for Dan because, again, he's got room to stand up, he can walk around, and he actually has room, not just that little tiny space to set in. So, good for Blue Van Dan. I hope the van, uh, not van, excuse me, I hope the schoolie bill goes well. And he actually wants to keep the uh, Blue Van, of course, and uh, get a trailer and tow it behind the bus. But I think a bus for Dan is an excellent idea because again, the long-term effects, living in a van or a car cannot be good for somebody. I mean, there's all kinds of problems that can arise. And I'm gonna talk about the ones that I can think of. <laughs> Now, when you live in a confined space like that, like a van or a car, uh, you don't have room for some of the basic necessities. I mean, just think of some of the stuff that you really need that you don't have the room for. Do you have room for things like bedding? I mean, sleeping in a dirty old nasty old bed without changing your bed clothes all the time can get pretty nasty. It's not good for your health. Clothes, do you have extra changes of clothes? Close for any kind of situation, such as extreme heat, extreme cold, in between, when it's raining, when it's windy. Do you have hiking shoes, running shoes, walking shoes? If you need to go out and do something, you know, like a formal event, do you have clothes? Now, formal clothing isn't anything like a necessity, but if you have to constantly wash your clothes and you're not able to, because you don't want to run back and forth and spend money in a laundromat, and you wear the same dirty, nasty-ass clothes and sleep in the same dirty, nasty-ass bed, it's not good for you. It can cause all kinds of health issues. Now, we won't even talk about the bathroom issue. You know, bottles and buckets and everything else. Are you dumping these things or are you sleeping in a little confined space with these things until you get rid of it? I don't know. Or are you just tossing out in parking lots or in some field or in the desert somewhere? See, these things are not healthy. So what are the long-term effects of living in these small confined spaces? Even companionship. Now, I'm not saying you can't go outside and stretch your legs or you can't go out and camp with other people. And I guess that's why we see people that, you know, travel and we call them the tribe or the crew or whatever, because you need companionship. Well, if you want to have a girlfriend, boyfriend, spouse, kids, even dogs, in that little confined space of a van or a car, where are you gonna go? Sure, one person living in the van isn't too awfully bad, but you're alone. I know, some people are solitary and like to be alone, but you need companionship. You need to have that social interaction. And yes, I'm not saying you can't do it, when you're living in a small space, but 
if you're stuck on a rainy day or a cold day or whatever i mean come on let's face it you're stuck all day in that tiny space alone with just you and your thoughts then you have the stress stress level oh it's not stressful this is the free cheap and easy life no it can be stressful where am i going to park i'm parking here i got the knock i gotta move oh my if i'm parking along the streets in the city or i'm parking in some neighborhood or i'm in the desert but i don't have any way to get solar or this or that there's the stress of where am i going to go what am i going to do am i going to be seen am i going to be noticed there's a lot of stress which we all know is not good for anybody now i already touched a little bit on the pets thing yeah you can have pets for companions but look at our girl morgan now she got three dogs in a bronco now you know that's not a conducive spot for anybody a person and three dogs in that little confined space or even just the three dogs it's not the optimal prime spot for all these things to be living in together it's not good and again with bob and uh, the people that he tells us just live in your prius live in your toyota live in your whatever it's not a good idea to have a dog and you in a car I don't care what anybody says. And while we're on the subject of Morgan, heat. That's right, extreme heat. And you're in a van or a car. Yes, you can start your car and let it just run and put the air conditioner on. But as we saw, Morgan, she even put a home air conditioner in the back of her Bronco. It didn't work. She snapped. She's freaking out because it's too hot. And now we are having record highs. That's right, record highs. It's already hot in Arizona and other places. But now we're having record temperatures, even in the Northwest. And we all know, everybody says, go to the Northwest. It's nice. It's cool. It's damp. Well, they're expecting record highs this year, even in the Northwest. So heat. What are you going to do to escape the heat, especially when you're trapped in a car or a van? Well, I can go outside. Well, it's even hot outside. So, again, what are the long-term effects of living in a small, confined space, like a van or a car? So tell me in the comments below, what do you think? Do you think there are long-term effects of living in a van or a car? Any potential things that you can think of or see? Because I can see a lot of long-term problems with it. Again, when people are young and they can crawl around their hands and knees and they can climb in and out of bed and scritch around and climb over seats and do all that fun stuff, jump up and down and in and out of the van. But as we get older, as we age, hey, it doesn't matter what we look like on the outside. You can change that. You can get Botox. That's right, Morgan. And uh, do all kinds of other things. But the inside, we still all deteriorate and break down. And things get harder. So when you're all cramped up and hunched over and climbing around your hands and knees, when you get older, is it going to affect your back, your joints, your knees, and everything else? And living in the car, sitting in that seat, you can change your bed clothes. You can change all kinds of other things. But when you're in that car and you're sitting in that seat, in that, that dirt, that filth, that dead skin, and all that other stuff, I know it's gross to think about. But are there long-term effects, health effects, mental effects, the stress of where you're going to park and everything else? I don't know. It just seems like in the long term, compared to living in an RV where you have a little bit more space and some creature comforts, I think living in a van or a car could have long-term effects. That's just my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. This is Blind Views, and that's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Loud.